Hello everyone, my name is Brad Larson, real estate broker and owner from Larson Properties here in San Antonio, Texas. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about a new process we've evolved into with uh, the tenants moving out of home. So this is titled, Your Tenant is Moving. So it's really meant for the owners to kind of take a look at it so they understand our processes and how we're doing things now to better potentially benefit you as renting your home faster. So the tenant is given notice, we allow the tenant to vacate. Okay. In the past, the tenant would give notice. We'd start to vacate, excuse me, start to market the home prior to them vacating at least 30 days in advance. And we found a lot of problems with that. Uh, we think this is a better system for a lot of different reasons. I'm going to go over those here in a minute, but we figured there's got to be a better way. So we started to look at other markets and what we're seeing is other markets around the world, around the country, uh, they're allowing the tenants to vacate. They do the quick make ready. Then they put the home back on the market and let's go through some of this. So, we allow the tenant to vacate now. We do our move out inspection. So the tenant vacates, for example, today is 31 March. Tenants are vacating, let's say, or have vacated. We're doing move out inspections to figure out what's gotta be done to make sure that home is, is move in ready. So we do get the make ready items completed, right? So we go to the home, do the move out inspection, work on the make ready items that gotta be completed. That could be just carpet cleaning, you know, light painting, maid service, you know, some minor stuff. That way we make sure the home is ready and move in tomorrow then we market the home with new pictures a new video with the home being in move-in condition now that's key because we feel when the home is moving condition for the first time that it hits the market tenants are going to come see it they're going to love it they're going to apply for it and they're ready to go okay when they see it with a tenant involved it gets a little weird so let's talk through some of that so the benefits to the owner we market a move-in ready home as i mentioned the tenant lived in condition now i could talk days on this i could give you stories that'll make you sick but essentially when tenants are living in a home they have no vested interest in showing the home they have no vested interest in really at renting they are completely hassled they're upset that they're having to go through this they feel put out they they feel weird about it with the privacy concerns so it's just it's just lived in condition i mean we've had we've had prospective applicants walk into a home with dirty diapers or or dirty underwear or dirty dishes or you know, smoke or just weirdness. And you just, you can't get around that because the tenants don't care. They're out in 30 days, they don't care. So the home will show better. This is common sense. If there's no tenant in there and the home is made ready, it's gonna show a ton better. What if the home goes stale? Okay, this is a, this is a key point. So a lot of times when the tenant is living in the home and the home is not renting, we start to wonder, well, is it the tenant? Is it the price of the home? What's going on? And so if there is no tenant in that equation, it has to be the price of the home. So we have to assume that the price of the home is too high if it's not renting within a week, two weeks, two months, whatever the, the time frame is we set for your home. If it's not renting within that time frame, it has to be the price. That's the only thing that can be left because the variables of a tenant are removed. Okay, privacy concerns, as I mentioned. Now there are going to be more and more privacy laws being passed. Texas is already looking at them. Other states have adopted them to where you can't take pictures of the tenant when they're living in there. You can't even do a video. I mean, just the privacy concerns. So the more and more we go along through, um, you know, the tenant adv advocacy channels coming through, they're going to start pushing for no showings during a tenant's vacancy, uh, before a tenant is vacated. So I always like to turn this around on, on owners that we talk with is, would you want somebody coming into your home to take a look at it when you were getting ready to move and the boxes were everywhere and you just got finished with dinner and you're trying to put the kids to bed, would you want somebody to come see your home? Probably not. If you're selling, you have a highly vested interest and you'll do whatever it takes to sell, right? But when you're renting, you're not incentivized at all to show the home. So it makes it for a bad situation. Okay, violating the Deceptive Trades and Practices Act. Bear with me, this is kind of deep. I mean, this is, this is the far-fetched scenario, but I could see this happening, and I'm, I'm warning all the owners now, this is why we switched policies. So imagine a tenant wants to rent a home and they saw old pictures, a year old, two or three, th two year old, three year old pictures, two or three year old video, they rent the home, sight unseen, they move all their worldly possessions from Washington DC to here, and they walk into the home and it's crap. And they're totally disappointed with it because what they saw from the pictures and the video and the condition of the home when they visited the home, was completely different when, when they walked in. So now they feel cheated. They feel like we deceived them. They feel like we, we did them wrong. 
they go get an attorney and now they're gonna try and sue everybody because we violated the Deceptive Trades and Practices Act by not showing current pictures and current video. I know, I know, it's far-fetched. However, comma, it is a fear. And I think if we eliminate the tenant from that particular equation, we also eliminate violating the Deceptive Trades and Practices Act. As far-fetched as it may be, it is a concern. Tenant issues and holdovers. Huge phenomena here is what happens if the tenant doesn't leave? You ever think about that? Think of the tenant coming in who's been approved, signed, lease agreement, hands, uh, money is exchanged hands, and now they go to move into the home. Oh, the, the existing tenant hasn't vacated yet. That is the worst scenario, and we've dealt with it, and everybody's upset. The outgoing tenant is probably non-responsive at this point. We've had a few of those. The incoming tenant is super ticked off. They're calling their attorney. The owner's wondering what's going on. We have to refund all the money back to the incoming tenant because we can't provide them a home. They're mad at us. The owner's mad because the home didn't lease. All of this is because the tenant didn't vacate on time. Well, sometimes they need a couple extra days and they're willing to pay the holdover fee to get it. So we're put behind the eight ball trying to scramble with an incoming tenant. It's a bad situation all around. And we've lost tenants because of that. And rightfully so. If I were a tenant walking into a home and say, what do you mean I can't move in? I signed a lease agreement. I want to move in tomorrow. Tomorrow's April 1st. I can't move in. And management company has to tell them, sorry, the tenant that was in there hasn't vacated yet and we can't force them out for another 30 days. It gets really, really sticky. So removing that out of the equation, we no longer have to worry about that. Vacant home showings. So one of the things I wanna talk about here is if we have the opportunity now to show vacant homes with an unaccompanied vacant home showing system. And this is gonna be a separate video, separate explanation, but essentially when you have a vacant home, you have a lockbox, there is a way to safely show that home to a consumer. And it doesn't have to be over the top, it doesn't have to be occupied, uh, it doesn't have to be accompanied with a realtor, but there are ways to see homes. And, and we're working through the details now with some of the concerns our owners have had in showing a home. Because uh, even if they do have a lockbox, the lockbox shuts down that code. And so I don't get into it too long, but know that vacant home showings is a possibility. Other markets have adopted this successfully for a number of different reasons, and we're gonna be doing the same. Okay, that is the last thing, and the bottom line, your home will attract better applicants, rent faster, and for more money. That truly is the bottom line. If you have any questions about what we just talked about, feel free to get in touch with us at 210-497-8686 or visit us online. Thanks again for watching. My name is Brad Larson, owner and broker from Larson Properties. Take care.